How you doing? This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. And not, it's not normally something I would talk about, but there's all this controversy about the $20 bill, Andrew Jackson, the evil racist and genocidal president who sent Indians off, who attacked, went into Florida illegally and, you know, hated the Indian, hated the Cherokee. Uh, there's one good thing and nothing else about Andrew Jackson. He fought up against the establishment of a national bank, and he should be lauded for that because we've seen uh, the abuses with the Fed in this country. There shouldn't be a Federal Reserve Bank, in my opinion. But Harriet Tubman, well, she freed a number of slaves. She fought for women's suffrage, and... That's a good thing, but I like Greta Van Susteren's proposal better. Create a $25 bill, and I want to carry that a little further. And I have an idea. Let's have a $25 bill and a $75 bill. I've never liked hundreds. I don't like having a whole bunch of 20s in my wallet when I go to the bank. So, why not a $25 bill and a $75 bill? Because you got to pay a $100 bill, you got to get 520s. You've got a $75 bill, you're going to get change. It's going to make a little bit of a problem for cashiers. But you put the hundreds in the far, far um, right drawer anyway, along with any $2 bills that might show up. Because some people hold on to $2 bills and then eventually spend them when they need the money. And here's my proposal. Rather than put Tubman on the 20 and irritate the traditionalist who want Jackson on the 20, why don't we have a great American series bill? And don't focus on just women and just blacks. You could rotate it. You could have every couple of years a different American on a bill. Now, you know, I know why the Democrats like this. It's politically correct to have a black abolitionist, slave-freeing slave who fought for women's suffrage and who died in poverty on a bill. But there's one black man that I would put on a bill even before Tubman. Not because I'm uh, denigrating Harriet Tubman, I'm not. But I think he had far more influence than Harriet Tubman had and saved far more lives. And that's Dr. Char Charles Drew, who helped establish our first blood banks and without whose efforts, hundreds of thousands of American soldiers and Americans wouldn't have lived because that's where we got the whole thing about blood banks. And he fought against racism because at the time... The American army was separating black blood from white blood. And he resigned from the Red Cross in 1950 because of that. He died in a car wreck. And it wasn't because he was refused blood because he was black. He was riding with three other black doctors at the time. He had just had done surgery an all-night stint, was exhausted, wrecked his car. His foot was caught under the gas pedal. And by the time he got to the hospital, his injuries were too severe, and he died. So a great American died working for humanity. And there's something else. As a Jew... I don't see any great Jews on a dollar bill or a twenty dollar bill. I don't see any great Asians on any bills or Latinos. So why don't we have a great American series bill? You could make everybody happy and you could have like Albert Einstein for better or for worse. You, you know, about the atomic bomb, everybody is still upset about Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You could have Senator Jacob Javits. You could have someone like that. Um, you could have great Latino Americans on the bill. Uh, and so that, every couple of years, you could change the bill. Now, one only quibble I have about Tubman, and maybe it's the way they did photographs in the 19th century. A lot of people look pissed off when they're on 
their pictures are taken. They don't look happy. Now, she had every reason, having been a slave and gone through all the hardships she did and freed seven, 800 slaves from the South. May or may not have a price in her head. There's questions whether she had a $40,000 price in her head. I'd be pissed off, too. But I don't want to look at someone who looks pissed off every time I go to the store. And here's my money. So, you know, if they're going to put this woman on a bill, have it a ha try to find a happy picture. There's got to be one out there somewhere. But that's my proposal, a $25 bill and a $75 bill. We used to have $75, used to have savings bonds in different denominations. So why not a bill to cross the bridge between the 100 and the 50 and up it to 25 For one thing, you got inflation. And that way, at 25, you get back five bucks for a sandwich. You'd get back your other, a ten, a ten, and two fives. Uh, make the cashiers and merchants have more fives in their drawers, but that's okay. It's no biggie as long as you keep a change bank. So, uh, but that way, you could make everyone happy. You could put famous gays on a bill. You could put famous lesbians on a bill if you want to be politically correct. And, you know, everybody has this thing about angry white men. Excuse me. I got to get next week. I got to go get my Allegra. It's my voice keeps going. And so you could have everybody represented on this series of bills. It'd be like postage stamps. Um... Every couple of years, you change the face in the bill, and you put new people on the bill. And the $75 bill could be the same way. So that's my proposal. Don't replace Andrew Jackson because you think he, he was genocidal and all that. Leave him alone. Uh, but create a whole new bill and honor great Americans, no matter what their color, no matter what their political persuasion no matter what they're, whether they're black or white or Latino or Asian or uh, straight or gay. I don't know if we have any uh, great uh, American transsexuals, so don't look at me about that. But, uh, um, you know, you could have great Catholics on the bill, great Episcopalians, Maybe a great atheist. I don't know. The only atheist I know is the guy who keeps suing all the time about crosses and stuff, which I think is ridiculous. Leave the, leave the Christmas displays alone. If you don't like it, don't look at it. Go somewhere else. But uh, Madeline Murray O'Hare is the only atheist that comes to mind. She disappeared and her money went is, is still fought in the court to last I knew. All right. That's what I got to say about Harriet Tubman. Tubman, uh, excuse me, my voice is not doing that great either today. Um, it doesn't matter to me if I don't, I just don't like to see bills replaced. Create a new bill. And maybe something else. I, uh, uh, one last thing. I'd like to see a prettier dollar bill than the greenback. Canada has pretty colors on it. Britain has pretty colors. Why can't we have pretty colors on a bill? And if you did the colors, you could maybe have more of the anti-counterfeiting thing with the colors instead of this kind of ugly bill we have now. And I know they why they put the giant heads, but that always looked like we're go we got money that comes from that's comes from Easter Island. I, I've never understood these giant heads in the, on the on a bill, but uh, it strikes me as weird. And they're gonna do this thing till 2030. I'll be dead by 2030. I won't care. And a lot of us won't be here by 2030 to even see the bill. So, uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen with this. By 2030, there might be somebody else that they want to put on a bill rather than Harriet Tubman. Administrations change and history changes. That's um, 14 years from now. Who knows what might happen in 14 years?
To some, we might not have an America in 14 years to worry about it. Because every time I turn around, somebody's talking about the apocalypse or the end times or <laughs> some other stuff like that. All right. This is the guy from Pittsburgh. I'll catch you next time. Have a great afternoon and a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.